Hello guys, welcome to MGQ TV, and perhaps we've all had a fair share of mic reviews. It seems that the market, and especially for YouTube oriented mics, is pretty well saturated. Although today, I'll take a look at this $25 alternative from Toner that you can use if you're anything from an artist to a vlogger. I've always thought that it'd be worth saving that little bit extra cash to get something that's USB or XLR driven, but maybe this can bring back your faith in the trusty 3.5mm jack that's just about the standard for headphones despite the USB alternatives that are out there. I'm going to be going over the features of this mic as well as how it performs, sound quality and whether or not it's worth the budget price that it asks. First thing is, it doesn't really come with any accessories worth talking about aside that tiny plastic stand and that really long non-removable red cable, no pop filter, no shock mount, no USB adapter, just the necessities to get you started all packaged up in that wonderfully simple box. Seriously though, it's $25, you can't complain. So that lack of a pop filter might be a real problem with you, especially if you're an artist. Although note that the ones online are just a dollar or two. On the flip side though, having a long cable makes the mic suitable for a lot of purposes and it's great when you're out and about, especially if you do stuff like interviews or vlogs or anything where you're moving about, it means you're not tied down to one spot. The other solution of course would be to go wireless, but at the price point it's pretty much impossible. I found that the build quality of the mic, although completely plastic, is especially practical and possibly not appealing to some of you because of the plastic, although features that it has are fairly minimal. No gain control, no mute button, no mode switch. If you care about any of that at a moment's notice, you're going to be stuck. With that said, again, you could do most of that in the recording software such as Audacity. And I know I'm comparing this to a pretty high-end mic, but what this mic relies on is its performance in relation to such a low price. So let's take a look at the sound from it. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy doge. Quick brown fox jumped over the lazy doge. If you're looking for something immediate, then go for it. It costs next to nothing and it'll sure get the job done in the short term. If not, I'd say hold off. There are a lot of other alternatives you'll certainly get more out of. Maybe you should take a look at some of the other products from the same brand. I left all of the Amazon and other links down below. Thanks again to everyone for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.